my name is Stephanie. Welcome to my channel, Edible Thoughts Makes. This channel is where I share with you my works in progress, finished projects, things I'm cooking up, books I'm reading, funny things the kids say. My hope is that as you watch this episode and the previous episodes that you find some inspiration along the way. Today is Friday. It is a beautiful sunny Friday. It is um, April 17th, year 2020. This is episode 30, another vlog style for you today. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful sunny day. I am hoping that we get some time outside today. Not hoping, I am planning on going outside today and um, I'm going to try to get some rows in on my Fantastitch shawl by Stephen West. Um, I'm on a section right now that um, has ribbing in it and it's a lot of ribbing. So what I might do is just stop in the middle of some repeats and change colors and just do garter or something around. Um, I'm not a fan of that much ribbing to begin with and then to have to do it that many times over over 200, I don't, 200 plus stitches. I don't even know where I'm at right now. I have the pattern in front of me, let's see. Oh yeah, I think I'm almost like over 300. Yeah, definitely over 300 stitches of ribbing, but it's not just straight ribbing, it's like on a diagonal, um, back and forth on both sides. So yeah, um, I might just stop that and then change color and then do garter or something. So as long as I end up with the right stitch count before my next section, then it's fine. So I am really enjoying this shawl. I love that there's a different stitch pattern on each section. It keeps things interesting. And I also love that it's customizable because if I don't enjoy that particular stitch pattern, I can just change it. So great. Um, I'm also hoping to get in um, a few stripes on my scrappy shorty socks and that's part of the knit along with Denise at Earth Tones Girl right now. Um, if you look at my vlog from yesterday and the day before, I show you some of the colors that I am using and progress on that and it is so much fun. The stripes just work up really quickly because it's fun and exciting and new even though you're just doing stocking it around and around um, or you can do a different sock pattern if you want. Um, it doesn't really matter. It's just um, using several colors in a striping um, sequence. But yeah, I'm really enjoying that one too. So hoping to get some of that done. Maybe I'll get um, that second sock done this weekend. So that'll be really fun to have a pair of shorty socks done in less than a week. Um, so if you haven't been following along, I have been vlogging all week and that is something new for me and I just thought it would be fun to put out some colorful and delicious content for you this week while we are staying at home sheltering in place and um, flattening the COVID-19 curve. So if you haven't had a chance to watch the other ones I encourage you to go back um, this week and check out some of the previous episodes. They should all be under 15 minutes and it's a compilation of various um, things throughout the day. If I cooked up something, baked something, I um, try to link the recipe below if it is something available for free online, you know, versus like in a printed cookbook or something. Um, and I share with you some tips and tricks that I have in the kitchen. Um, and what else? Oh, um, so I've been reading the Chronicles of Narnia with my first grader and we just finished the first book So now we are on to the second book. So that's really exciting um, And I hear somebody calling for me. So I will be checking back in later. Talk to you soon. Bye So someone just needed their um, color pencil sharpened so got that sharpened up and um, back to her coloring um, I am really enjoying my woolly knits Today, I have on my Katie shawl, which is super springy, and that is over my Chica sweater, which I knit last year, and it's a super fun knit. It's definitely a good layering piece, because um, it has these like arm, really wide armholes, and so like when you lift up, it goes really far up. Oh, see my sock over there? Ah. Um, and then I have on my um, high desert socks and we had to sharpen the color pencil again because the lead part broke off um, 
what was I going to tell you? Oh, so today I wanted to try um, a different hummus recipe. I'm not sure if you can still call it hummus if tahini isn't in there, but I do have garbanzo beans and I do have sesame oil. And a quick Google is telling me that you can make hummus without tahini and with sesame oil. Well, tahini is sesame paste. So I figure the sesame oil flavor will still be there, but sesame oil is probably more concentrated, I would think, in flavor than the paste, although the paste is pretty concentrated in flavor too. So I don't know, we shall see. Um, I've seen other recipes that, where they use peanut butter or sun butter, but since those flavors are very different from tahini, uh, I didn't want to stray that far from that. So I'm gonna try using sesame oil and we'll see how that goes. And I am being summoned again, so goodbye. Thank you.